Hello everyone, this video is going to be all about Turing machine which is an important concept in automata and computability and it's a very interesting concept as well. I won't be going into the depth of this concept, just how to solve a problem regarding Turing machine and how to draw the state diagram of it. So let's just give a brief on what Turing machine is. It's an infinite tape which has, which has cells and each cell contains a symbol. And it, uh, and it has a it has a head on the top of the tape which can move left or right by one step and it can it can modify the content in the cell by replacing it uh, replacing it with another symbol for example if you want to modify the symbol zero in this cell you can replace it by X after that you can move left or you can move right by one step and it's basically an infinite tape so let's get on with one example Right. So in this string, you can convert. Uh, uh, you can start from the first symbol, the zero. We'll look at the state diagram later. But first, we can. We need to start solving the. Uh, we need to start figuring how to solve this a particular string that's given. So what you would do is first you will start with zero. You convert that zero to x, and then you move to the right. And then you see a zero, you ignore. You see anything, anything, other, any symbol, you ignore. But whenever you see a one. You convert that to y and after that you move left and from left you again go to uh, whenever you see zero you go to left you ignore whenever you see a zero you go to left you ignore whenever you see an x you go to the right and then you convert that to x again and then move to the right then again whenever you see a zero you ignore whenever you see a y even you ignore whenever you see a one that time you convert that to uh, you convert that to y and then move left again we go, we go left we ignore y's and zeros and then we see an x we see an x then we move to the right and then we convert that x or zero to an x then we move to the right we move to the right we ignore zeros and y's and then when we see a one we convert that one to y right then we go to the left 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 oop, and then you bumped into x and then you go to the right and then you convert that zero to x then we again ignore the uh, ones and y's uh, sorry we again ignore the zeros and y's since there's no, no zeros we just ignore the y's and then when we see one one we convert that to y right and then uh, that it could be blank later on this could also all be blank later on as, as as I've said before it's an infinite tape consider this is the infinite tape left and right is blank and we just considering this particular position of the Turing machine so after that whenever we see any uh, from this position we can uh, <clears throat> we can go to the right and when we see when we see any uh, what you call from this position if we see Y's we ignore and since we're seeing blank we go to the left and we, when we see a blank space we go to the left by one space and then we can stop we can stop this uh, uh, what you call the we can accept this symbol so since there are no remaining uh, symbols like X uh, like 1 or 0 left since all of them have been converted to X and Y's this Turing machine is accepted now how do we draw the state diagram of it after the after we have completed the uh, the tracing it will be easy to draw the state diagram so as you can see how did we start we started by whenever we see a zero we convert it to X what the symbol means and what this uh, thing means is that whenever you see a zero you convert that zero to X and then you move to the right by one step it's always by one step it's never by many steps infinite steps. it's not ambiguous it's really like exact you just move by one step to the right so Whenever you see an X, whenever you see a zero, you convert to X, and then after that, let's just look at this. Whenever uh, first, at first, how did we start? Whenever we see a zero, we convert that to X, and then when we go to the right, we ignore the zeros. So we ignore the zeros. We ignore the Y's, which will come later on. We ignore the Y's, and then when we see one, when we see one, we convert that to Y, and then we move to left. We immediately move to left. We don't look at there. We just need to match all these strings. We just need to match the numbers of zeros and ones. It's basically how to prove 0 to the power n, 1 to the power n. So uh, we match the numbers of zeros and ones by using this Turing machine. Right. So we move to the left. 
after we have uh, converted 1 to y we move to the left and then we ignore the zeros we ignore the y's which might come and then uh, we keep on moving the left until we reach the x and when we reach the x we do nothing we do no change see x is converted to x that means x there is no change and after that we move one step to the right and again we start this process again by converting the zero to x and then again we, uh, we ignore the zeros then we ignore the y's here and then we when we see encounter one we convert that to y right and then after that we move to the left and then we ignore the zero uh, we ignore the y's we ignore the zeros and then when we see an x we move to the right and then after that again we convert that zero to x so this is how you keep on going on and then how to end it we know this is a infinite loop i mean this is a loop as long as there are strings uh, in the, there are strings in the as long as there are uh, there is an input present in the string and then how do we stop it and when we see when we see that we are uh, we're in the last y we move to the right and then if there are no other y's uh, we just move, we just directly go to this step so that means we go to the, this blank this this means blank space so whenever we see blank space whenever we see blank space we do nothing which means we convert blank space to blank space which means basically nothing no change and then we move to the left and then we can say that this Turing machine is accepted right let's look at a more complicated example this so here it says that w hash w where w equals 0 1 whole star which is, that means w is uh, the w contains the alphabet 0 and 1 so we have to match the string so the string is suppose the example string is the w can contain zeros and one uh, or ones so it's not like it will be zeros on the left and ones on the right that would be too easy here it's like just zeros or and ones all together it could be one one zero hash one one zero it just has to mean that this should be a mirror a mirror image of this so hash is the one that divides these mirror images right so how do we solve this let's just try to solve this uh, let's just try to solve this input symbol so whenever you see a zero we convert that to x and then we move to the right we ignore the ones we ignore the zeros and when we reach this hash then we go to the right we go to the right and then when we see a zero we convert that to x and then again we move to the left and then when we see a hash we ignore it we see a zero we ignore it we see one we ignore it and when we see an x we move to the right we convert this one to x we're converting uh, sorry we convert this one to y we can divide zeros and zeros and ones by converting zeros to x's and y, ones to y's right so we convert this to y and then we move to the right 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 we ignore and then when we see a hash we uh, <clears throat> we go to the next we go to the next one we go to the next one and then again we we ignore x's and y's and if we see a one or a zero we convert that to whatever we converted to before so it could be in the same loop this could be in one loop and this x's conversion should could be in one loop and y conversion could be in another loop right so again the we ignore we go to the left we ignore the x's we ignore the zeros we ignore the hashes everything and then when we see a y we go to the right by one step and then we convert one to y again <coughs> right after that we again uh, we go to the right we keep on going to the right we ignore the uh, x's y's and uh, and everything and then when we see another one after the hash see after the hash if we encounter a one then we convert it to y right then we go to the left we ignore the y's and x's and hashes hashtags and everything and then when we go when we encounter uh, y before the hashtag we, we go to the right and then convert 0 to x and then we go to the right we go we encounter hashtag go to the right ignore ignore and then after the hashtag after the first 0 or 1 symbol that we encounter we convert it and then we convert this to x then we move to the again this is blank blank uh, before and blank after this is like in the middle of the tape so after, then after that when we go to the uh, what you call left we ignore y's x's and everything and after that when we see even before the hashtag we see we see no other symbol we just see x's or y's then we go to the right we keep on going to the right 
ignore the x's ignore the y's ignore the hashtags and when we encounter a blank then we convert blank into blank that means no change and then go to the left and then we end the uh, process so let's draw the uh, state diagram for this so like i said there will be two loops for one for converting x's and one for converting y's and that's why i have two loops one for converting x's and one for converting y's so whenever you encounter a zero <clears throat> we convert the zero to x then we move to the right then we keep on ignoring zeros we keep on ignoring ones we won't be encountering x's and y's before this uh, so after this it's uh, so after so we just keep on ignoring zeros and ones and then when we encounter hash then we uh, <clears throat> then if we encounter x's or y's we ignore it that means we no change but if we encounter a zero we go to the next step and we convert zero to x and then we move to the left we move to the left and then again we ignore zeros we ignore ones we ignore y's ignoring means no change basically we're not converting the string to something else we're just converting the same thing so no change and then when we encounter a hashtag again we keep on going to the left and then the, when we encounter an x then we move to the right and then we convert whatever symbol we get so if we get since we got a one here we're going to the second loop we're going to this loop it's either this or that so we're going to this loop so we convert one to y and then we ignore the zeros and ones then we uh, ignore the hashtag even uh, <clears throat> and after that if we encounter a y if we encounter a one which we don't after the converting this one we go to the right we still encounter x so we ignore the x and then we go to the right and then we get this one so we convert the one to y and then we move to the left we move to the left so we keep ignoring x's we keep ignoring y's we keep ignoring ones because we'll just be uh, uh, we also keep ignoring uh, what you call zeros I forgot to write that so we will also keep on ignoring zeros even here we'll also keep on ignoring uh, <coughs> ones zeros yeah we keep on ignoring x's because like I said this string is sort of um, sort of different it's not like you have just zeros on the left and just ones on the right you have zeros and ones combination of it um, both on the left and right you just need to match the number of uh, same number and same type on both sides so it's not just the number you also have to match the type in previous example it was just the number to be matched right so then we yeah so we keep on moving left and then when we encounter the hashtag when we encounter the hashtag we uh, go to the left we still keep on going to the left and then we ignore uh, what, what you call we when we in, when we encounter as an a y when we encounter a y we convert that y to we 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 don't we don't convert it we just go to the right when we see a y after it sorry there was a mistake in the previous one so i had to correct that so when we when we're on the left when we're on this stage so suppose we're in this stage okay so when we move to the left we're just gonna keep on uh, encountering x's before I mean, before this but uh, after this hashtag we're just gonna uh, we're just gonna encounter x's or y's not zeros on zeros or ones so at this side we'll just have a loop for ignoring x's or y's and then we we'll move to the hashtag we go we we change it to nothing and then we, we change it to hashtag and then we I mean, in no change and then we go to the left and then here we're going to be encountering zeros and ones because these places will be left un unconverted uh, untouched so ones will be converted to ones zeros will be converted so these won't be the, here we won't encounter x's or y's as in what i'm trying to say is zero one one zero hash zero one one zero so suppose this has been converted x y and then this has been converted x y so after from this stage if you're moving from if you're moving from here from y to left so we're just going to be encountering x's or y's so we encountered x so we we encounter x we move to the left then we encounter hash we move to the left then we encounter zero we move to the left we encounter one we move to the left and then we encounter y then we move to the right and then again this loop is continued this whole loop is continued because the next input is one not zero if this if the next input was zero we'll just go to this loop so after it's it's all been converted after how do we stop it how do we stop it so in the end when we're encountering 
<clears throat> in the end when we encounter this part look at this part this is for this this part is for this for this arrow so when we encounter x uh, if the if this is finished we are, we are going to be at this stage at this stage of the symbol of the input so uh, when we are at this stage we when we encounter x we go to the right when we encounter y we go to the right and then when we encounter uh, what you call sorry uh, after this is finished we're going to be at this stage so when we so when we encounter x suppose from this stage from <clears throat> from this stage over here let's just, let me just draw it again 0 1 1 0 hash 0 1 1 0 so after we've converted and when we're at this stage uh, after everything is converted to x y y x x y y x so after we are the, uh, uh, at the end stage we go to the right if we get <clears throat> we, we, we go to the if we get if we get x we go to the right so we encounter x here so we convert x to nothing and then we go to the right and then after that we if we encounter a blank this would be ignored because we won't be getting this input but just in case we do i just gave this loop here so if we encounter a blank after this which we do if after uh, x we do encounter a blank after we encounter a blank we change it to nothing and then we go to the left and then after that we, uh, as we as we have proceeded to the left see as you see uh, the blank is converted to blank there is no change and then and then we move one step to the left and then after that we reach the accepting state that means this string is accepted right so this is this is this was all about Turing machine I hope the doubt was cleared I uh, I know it's a bit confusing, but I think I personally thought that from automata and computer, this was the most interesting concept. This was the most interesting part. You just have to do the tracing of the symbol, match it somehow. I mean, it's not that easy. I figured this out, and that's why it, it was easy for, for these examples. But if you've seen some other types of string and you don't know how to match it, if there was no divider in between, like a hashtag or something, then it would be a different, a more, if it, it would be more difficult, like a palindrome sort of string. It would be more difficult to convert. So have fun with it, play around with it, then you would see that this is actually a really interesting concept. After you've figured out how to wait to uh, the way to solve it, then move on to drawing the uh, state diagram. So yeah, give a thumbs up if you've understand the concept and uh, good luck.